Hi. That mom is back. Uh, back. You probably haven't seen my other video because I didn't put it on right, so it's in Never Neverland. But, that's okay. Fat Mama wants to talk to you today about the reasons you shouldn't get fat and if you're fat, why you should lose weight. This is important before we go any further. You see, fat people have a tendency to get all of these things wrong with them. There's diabetes, there's neuropathy, there's high blood pressure, there's a fast heart tick, too much fat around the heart, there's bad back, bad feet, all these things, yes, every, every single one of these things are what you can get, and more. And believe me, I have them all, and still have some. So today my chat's going to be short but sweet about, you have to decide for yourself, do you want all of these things wrong with you? None of these things wrong with you? Maybe it's too late to cure all of them and make them perfect again. But on the other hand, maybe it's not too late. If you get rid of some of that fat, maybe the kick that it's beating harder will stop beating so hard. I know mine did. I know I'm able to go out of my house and there was a point where I wasn't going out at all. Not at all. I even stopped to think about people would think about me. Not even what I thought about myself because that, that don't even enter the picture. I was too busy worrying about what everybody and anybody else was thinking of me. I'm surprised, including my child. But I woke up one morning and decided, uh, it just can't be. No matter what somebody thinks of you, you can't, you, you're the one getting sick. You're the one getting one of all those things that I mentioned. So, after you look at this video today, take a couple of minutes out, just a couple, and think about how nice it would be if you didn't have any one of those things. Or so minor that you could be happy with it, it's okay. Now, that was my main conversation today. Now, for the chit chat. Listen, you know, I am I was, I have to say, I was a big eater. I used to eat three pork chops at one sitting. Boy, you talk about potato chips. <laughs> People, I ate potato chips like they were going out of sight. You know the big ruffles of day, the big ruffles of day. I used to eat that in a day with no help. No help whatsoever. Um, I would eat eggs like they were going out of style every single morning. Not good. And all the things that you shouldn't eat, I was eating. Yes, <laughs> believe me, I ate it all. That's how I got to be 368 pounds. To which I'm only 286, 268 now, sorry. I decided that maybe we should all try something. I have, it's time for me to change my diet a little. I'm stagnating. Uh, last week I tried uh, cereal in the mornings and salads in the afternoons. The salads could have tuna fish in them or nothing in them. Fine. And then four ounces of chicken at night with a small potato rather than eight ounces of chicken and the biggest potato I could find or three or four, you know, nice size ones. Now, last week I really behaved. I mean, at, at night I had vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. One night I had rice with them. Another night I had potato. And, you know, I weigh in on Tuesday. When the biggest losers are on on Tuesday, I weigh in. Absolutely. I want to know if I beat somebody or I didn't beat somebody. But, I think in the near future, or starting this week even, I think anybody who's watching this and wants to email me or, you know, make a comment or whatever it is you want to do, we should all, just for the heck of it, try one or two weeks. See if we can eat less Watch The Biggest Losers. It's, 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 it's mind-blowing if you're a heavy person. It, it shows you, even if you're not that big, it shows you what you're going to be. Give it a shot. Watch The Biggest Losers. Tape it. Watch it another time even. You know, if you don't want to watch it that night. 
remember, this room, you and I, no one knows what you're saying. I repeat nothing. I don't know who you are. It's okay. It's a place to vent. To really vent. Sometimes you don't like venting to family because they're telling you you're too fat, you should get skinny. You get tired of hearing that. This is this place. This is your private place to vent. So, what I was saying is, watch The Biggest Losers, and uh, I'll, I'll have another video on next week. So, maybe this week you can lose some weight. You can email me, you know, talk to me, and we'll see what we're doing and what we're doing wrong. I include myself in that. Absolutely include myself in that. This is not just you. I need your help as well. And this video and a few more may help me get to right where I want to be. Okay, finish on my lecture for today. Love you all. Please have a very good week and God bless.